no stopping us now. Let that song. G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV. Time to talk to Vision 2 with the lovely Callum Chambers. <laughs> Raylene Whitten. How are you? I'm really cold. Yeah, We're it is supposed a bit to be cold. warm. We're inside. We're at the State Basketball Centre. Yeah. You'd, you'd be feeling it, wouldn't you? Coming back from Thailand oh, to this weather. Feeling it, yeah. Awful. Yeah, very, very different. 35 one day, 3.5 the next. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> hey, Division 2, some big news out of Horsham. Can we talk about that? Yes. Oh, we can. What happened? Can we wait till we get to it? The wheels off the bus go around. Yeah, we can. D2 men, we'll talk about that one in a moment. Packingham 71 <laughs> defeated Western Port 68 in overtime. Wow. Well done wow. to the Warriors. That's a massive win. Fantastic. Big, big win. Well done. Billy Winder winding up hey, the club. Willie Winder. 20, he Billy. 22 points. Winded up, Isn't Billy. It Oh yeah, it is. Bill short for wood. Yeah, yeah Willie Winder. Winder. Willie Winder, Winder sounds Winder. better than Billy Winder. Okay. Is it Winder or Winder? I like, I like Winder. I like Winder. <laughs> and I like Willie Winder as well. Change your name, right? Yeah. Hey, he hit a three-pointer to yeah. uh, put the game into OT. Ricky Quite. Dean, by the way, missed a three-point shot with six seconds oh. to go you to tie the game up in OT. You can talk about that. You can talk about a made <laughs> shot, but not a missed shot. What happened? Oh, that's cruel. We always talk about missed shots yeah. all the time. He doesn't miss them, he doesn't get to put them up. <laughs> Warriors second win of the season. Uh, hey, I tell you what, the Steelers had won their last four. Yeah. They were on yeah. fire. Sorry, they had won four of their last five, I should say. They were on fire. This was an upset. Injuries. Well, they also had a massive loss on the Sunday, West. Well, they had a terrible weekend, so injuries obviously. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Completely depleted by injuries. Glad you've done your homework. Season homework. is over. Willie Winder, 22 and 8 in this game. Sean Armstrong, 13 and 12. Chris Samway, 16 points for the season ending Western Port Steelers. Yes. Gone. Gone. See you later. Keysborough, 73. Defeated. Maybe just file for buys for the rest of the. The remaining rounds. Can they put in for buys or? It's a, a slight <laughs> fine if you do that. It's so just feel a free. slight fine. A slight fine. <laughs> a thousand dollars. Even like suggesting it. that. Oh, well, you know. silly. You guys might as well. Come on. Oh. Keep I wish I could do uh, the dip. McKinnon. I'd love to do the dip one show. Jeez, I'd have some well, fun. This, week this, this, week week week. <laughs> this week's dip one show went for about three and a half weeks, by the way. Yeah, like 25 minutes, I think. Yeah. Keysborough 73, defeated Cranbourne 70. Uh, Dylan Wayman missed a three-point attempt with two seconds to go. You can talk about those things. It's a shot. It's part of the game. I, the most disappointing thing about that game was that I didn't get my text message from Vogue. Oh. What's going on? Oh, they no, get a win nothing they during time out. Just, just, time just after. after he was awarded a spot as coach. That's a disgrace. Men in the big That's a disgrace. Yeah. Do you know last week? I know we've had a week off, yeah. but last mm. round, yeah. round eleven, um, the guys that all set up Vody, he was going to send me a text message during the game. No, it's a disgrace. And Vody. in exchange, he was going to get you to wear a, a uh, what? Cougars top. When? Didn't happen. They no. lost the game. Not wearing that oh, crap on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve Andrew, 21 points. Alistair Granger, 13 points. Very good. Just Alistair Granger is hilarious. He is. He was he in was. the All-Star game. Tizzy was a funny He was guy. good, man. Yeah. And he shot the ball well, too. Yeah. You weren't there, so you weren't talking. No, I wasn't there. I can't believe you missed it. Yeah. Justin McMillan, 19 points. I was having a terrible time. Yeah. Justin McMillan, 19 points. Mick uh, Troy, 19 and 11 oh, for the Cavs. Good mm. good, uh, good game all round uh, by both teams. Nice and competitive. Could Paul, you see the Cavs bounce back? They've had a bit of a form slump. Yeah, they Horsham 70, the farmers went down to Craigieburn 75. Oh. Craigieburn continued their big run. They are now, they are now the total favourites. Horsham are. have dropped a third on the ladder yeah. after I pumped them up in the final whistle last week. Eric Miraflores, 30 and 7. How yeah, good is he? I know, and yeah. he was just a pick up off the court, wasn't he? Just yeah. A, yeah. yeah, it's a fantastic yeah. story actually. Well, tell us about him. Well, he was just shooting around one day, I think, and uh, you know, they're like, oh, do you like playing basketball? Yeah, you want to come play for Greg Van Eagles? Just spotted him. That was it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. That is a good story. Mark Welch, 16 points for uh, the Eagles as well. Tim Pickett at 16 for Horsham, but... I can't do serious or not. You do it. What's his story? <laughs> Uh, tell us a little bit about what happened after the game in Horsham because, um, interesting yeah, story. Not, not a very nice story. Um, Craig Byrne decided to take a bus up, which is kind of cute. I, I'd reckon a drive <laughs> further to work than from Craig Byrne to Horsham, but anyway. They took a, a bus up. Bit of team take a bus? What's wrong with they that? Took a bus, stayed overnight, get up in the morning, cute. the bus had been full on trash, someone had bricked it. Now, what's going on with that? It's pretty ordinary. Was there any pitchfork marks down the uh, Juco or anything uh, like that? 
bit of hay left behind on oh. the tractors, I don't know. No, it's a serious issue. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm having a bit of fun, but obviously something's happened. Yeah. It's... And it, it could be anyway. We're certainly not, we're certainly not casting oh. aspersions on horse and basketball. No, It no. could be anyone who just got out there, some kids, whatever, doing something stupid. But you don't expect that. When, no, when you're it's on the very road poor. You know, you've had a great win and then that happens. Slow trip home, you know, yep. front window is broken. It's, it's costly for the club yep. too. You know, these clubs work on a really yep. shoestring budget and, you know, they've copped excess for the damage, yep. excess Not because good. they were late getting it home. It's Not just good. bad. Didn't have to turn the air conditioning on, on the way home, by the way. <laughs> Would have been a fresh trip. <laughs> is that the serious part done? Because we don't do serious well. Not really. It's not, it's not our forte. <laughs> it's, it's not our forte at all. <laughs> Mornington 66, lost to Keelor 69. Uh, Dingleberry 19 points in this game. Andrew Lowe 18 and 12. Matty Jukes 22 and 11 for Keelor. Liam Blaskett had 19 points. Uh, good win for Keelor. I like Keelor, man. I reckon that. What do you like about it? Oh, look, I think they're just a, a tough team. I think they're, they're the sort of team that you don't really want to play whether you're top or bottom. Uh, I think they play hard. Yeah, they do. Every and they bring it every game. And like, Liam Glasgow. It'd be interesting to see um, his uh, direct opponent's stats each week because I think he might be one of the better defensive players. In the I'm going to leave the big one till last year. Western Port 43 mm. went down to Melbourne 84, 41 points. Terrible weekend for the Steelers. Yeah, well, do you reckon they realised their season was over on Saturday night and had a bit of a party? Yeah, well, I don't know if they had a party, but they didn't turn up on Sunday. No. Steelers shot at 24% in this game, 26 oh. to 5 second quarter, 24 to 8 fourth quarter. It was one way traffic. Melton uh, had a very easy win. Such a shame because all those other games were so close, you know. It's a great, was a great division. We're saving the big one till last. Mm. Okay. We're saving the big one till last. Here we go. Get around them. Maccabi, our boys. <laughs> 83 <laughs> defeated Coburg 62. <laughs> yeah. Our boys are back. Oh, we they stuck with your them. boys. They're not my boys. Why? Because oh, Coburg are my boys. Oh, come on. Did you, see, you weren't at Well, our boys, boys were your if, boys. If you're a big bouncer, you'd have seen Brian Shoes. Oh, oh, the shoe man. The blinding. What did he wear? What did the shoe man wear? Magnificent. Didn't work against McCarvey. I think he had a shocker, but anyway. They were kind of orange, but they were really more pink. They were Ooh. salmon, weren't they, Bomber? Ooh. Salmon. But Bomber? They, yeah. His name's the shoe man. Bomber. You can't come Brian on here. Oh, Mira. Bomber. Did you make that up, or is that her first ever nickname she's made up? No, I don't think I can tell Doesn't do it well. Doesn't do it, it well. Really, it's pretty good. Let's just, it's let's let's just, just me a while to work it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll just, I'll just work it out. Let's just stick with the shoe man, shall we? Yeah. McCarvey, our boys. Fantastic. They're back. And that's a First win in five games. Yeah. They shot nine of 14 trays at 64%. Don't, don't leave the boys. Nah, smashed it from downtown. <laughs> Jeff Davis, 20 points. Dean Schechter. At, uh, <laughs> at 19 and 12. Jordan Harding, 18 points. Dickie England Jr. had 11 and 15 for Coburg. It wasn't enough. Well done to Maccabi. Our boys oh, are back. That's good. And, you know, maybe too little, too late, but it's good. good nah, game. they're back. Who do they play this week? Uh, okay, all right. Yep. Oh, it's done. Here we go, Craigieburn 11 and 3, <laughs> Melton 9 and 3, Horsham 10 and 4, <laughs> Keysborough 10 and 4. Yep. Everyone else packing. Draw the line. Keelor 7 and 5, Westport oh. 7 and 7. Keelor have played a lot less games than Keys. Three wins behind. Who in the top four is going to lose to allow? It's the hardest division, by the way, Fifth because there's 11 teams only in top four. So yep. that's the hardest division for that. Keelor got packing this weekend. But they got Melton too. Mm. Big weekend. Yeah. Our boys, one game winning streak, five and eight. Mornington, four and eight. Coburg, four and nine. Cranburn, three and nine. Packing them two and twelve. I thought Cranburn would be a little bit better this season, to be honest with you. Well, they were early. Push keys, bro, to within three points on the weekend. Yeah. Round 13, here we go. Saturday, Western Port may or may not turn up against Horsham. May not. Well, they will, but they yeah, won't. They'll physically <laughs> Farmers will win that, surely. Yes, yes, quite easily. Keelor Melton, good game. Cracking game, good but game. Melton will hold on. Yeah, to that. I think so too. Coburg Cranburn, someone's got to win. They do. You know who I'll Shoot me. I'll go I'll go Coburg. You'll go Coburg? I'm going the Cavs to win this game. I think the Cavs will get up with Willy Winder. Except he doesn't play with the Cavs. Oh, doesn't he? No, he, he plays with Packard. He does too, that's, that's right. Okay. <laughs> I reckon the Cavs might but get up with, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, Justin McMillan, with Macker in the team. Okay. Does he play for Good recovery. Well done, mate. <laughs> Here we go, Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Winder and the Warriors <laughs> play against Keelor. Cool. Yeah, Keelor. Yeah. Uh, Melton and Our Boys. Our Boys. 
Our boys two in a row. Get it random. You reckon they're going to beat Melton? Fire Are streak. Are you serious? Finish the season. Melton. Get it random. <laughs> Cranbourne and Craigieburn play against each other again. Cranbourne and Craigieburn. Yeah. Oh no, they played against Keysborough. Cranbourne and Craigieburn, mate. You're just horrible. Is that? I'm having a bet. I've been on holidays. Give me a rest. <laughs> just give me a break. Here we go. Cranbourne and Craigieburn. There you go. Are you sure that's his mate? Craigieburn to win. Yeah, definitely. Mornington and Keysborough. Um, Keezy. Alright, here we go. I wouldn't be so sure. Oh, yeah? Yep. Okay. Well, Mornington to win. Upset. Oh, rubbish. <laughs> Absolutely. It's something rubbish. a little bit controversial, and then if it comes off. The rally seems to be pretty good well. this season. Mate, yeah. seriously, um, Mornington or Keysborough? I told you. Keysborough. Look, Vody likes to be the end. Vody, if you don't send text messages during the game this <laughs> week, we're coming after you next week. D2 women, here we go. Well, Where you wear a shirt? Well, if what? I don't know. Well, nah, what nah. have to happen for I'm you not, to wear a nah, Keysborough shirt on nah. the show? I'm not wearing a Keysborough not singlet happy. on this show, it's just not going to happen. Oh, Where are we, are we <laughs> 60 went down to Mornington 72. I'll tell you what, Mornington, yeah. two wins on the weekend. So good. There's another one I said might drop out last yeah. week and bang, they've uh, bounced back with two wins. Very good, the Breakers at the moment. I think they're up yeah. to second. They are up to second. Critical weekend for them. Two big games. I reckon that was a danger game against Werribee. Werribee have been sneaking up there. The margin, I'm serious. Their margin's been... Where are we at 0 and 12, mate? I know, but... Danger some, game? Yeah, absolutely. No. Seriously? Yep. Yep. Where are we 60 in a danger game? Mornington got over the top 72. Mornington continued to get the job done. As I said, they're up to second on ladder. Sheree Johnson, 20 and 13, had a good weekend. Nice Tegan Roll, 15 points, had a good weekend. Yep. Kelly Hobbs, 12 and 10, had a good weekend. Yeah, they did all three of them. Brianna Pastor, is it Pastor or Pastore? You can call her. I like the story. I'll call her BP. 15 <laughs> points in the game. Jackie Silcock, 14 points for the Devils. Blackburn, 73, defeated Western Port, 56. 39 to 23, second half. Mm. 62 turnovers and in this game. Probably that many oh. fouls as well. That uh, was like a roller wow. derby game, I'll mm. tell you. <laughs> Steelers had 38 of those 62 uh, turnovers. Georgia Kennedy, 19 points. Beck Nathan, 18 points for the Vikes. She's Aaron back. Barrow, 13 and 13 points. Was there a Cooper Westport. siding? Or, uh, Cooper was there. She was there, she played. Yeah. She played. Played a lot of minutes, didn't produce that many points for that time. Western Port, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not 100% sure, I'm not all over the top, but Western Port are basically the same team, bar Lee Wilkins, who's, who's moved up to D1. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a disappointing season for the Steelers. Unsettled season as well. You know, they thought they were going to have Coops early on. She's only just made it back the last couple of weeks, so that's enough to unsettle you. It's true. But they are giving the younger players more minutes as well. So hopefully the future planning yeah. there is underway. Yeah. Good on them. You know what Perron's like, he's got it sorted out. Yeah, yeah. it's all covered. Perron doesn't coach him. No. He doesn't make the decisions on who plays or who doesn't play, or does he? Perron is that what you're saying? Game. He's a power broker. He's saying he makes the decisions. <laughs> You are just bad news, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really 40 is. to 50. I get it every week. With two minutes of this going up, I'm going to have a Parada phone call. Thank you, Justin. Morning to 51, defeated Coburg 48. The good thing is none of them got my phone yeah. on the side of the test. Don't start giving it out, yeah. by the way. We're uh, going to run it all the way. Good close game. Good close game. Mornington by three points over the Giants. Kelly Hobbs, 18 and 11. Sheree Johnson, 13 points. Tegan Rolfe, 12 and 9. Usual suspects. Usual suspects. You love saying that, don't you? That's a good one. Uh, Belinda Campbell, 11 and 12 for the Giants. Coburg shot at just 20%. Their last quarter, I think it, um, with about six minutes to go, mm. Coburg had a, a pretty comfortable lead mm. and just did not make a field goal until the last two seconds of the game. So the last six it. minutes, they... Couldn't buy one. Couldn't buy one. And ain't no. gonna do it. Cranbourne 71 defeated Werribee 52. Mocky 25 and 14 had oh, a very wow. good game. Clark. Uh, BP 15 and 7 completed a good weekend for Werribee. Well done to BP. Cranbourne too good though. You'd expect up that. Up by nine. Yep. yep. Caps. That's why they're the top man. Cranbourne 10 and 2. Mornington 8 and 5 up to second with yeah. a bullet. Coburg 7 and 5. Blackburn 6 and 5 in the four. Just barely Hanging in the on. Hanging on. Melbourne Hanging actually on. have seven wins, so when it all evens out, everyone... But they have six losses, too. Yeah, that's true, but... Mm. Melbourne Uni 7 and 6, Western Port 5 and 8, Werribee 0 and 12. Cranbourne will make it, yes. Mornington? Yes. Yeah, I've got it now, after two wins like that. It's, it's a tight it's division. Tight. It's I'm, tight. I'm not going to call anyone Coburn. below one. I'm not calling anyone below one. Blackburn? Say it again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Brown 13, here we go. Melbourne Uni Western Port. Oh, I reckon Melbourne Uni. Yep. Coburg Cranbourne. Cranbourne, Cavs. Cracker of a game. If Coburg are going to make it, I'd, I'd 
be wanting to put a lot of pressure on mm -hmm. TV this week. Werribee Blackburn. Blackburn. Werribee. No. No, no you've got to get one. Oh, come on, I'm going to have some faith. Blackburn. Alright. I'll tell you what, if Nathan Vogt texts me during next week's show... That'll be pretty impressive. I'll put a Cavs top on, okay? There you go. Don't worry about texting her during the game. Text me during the show, voting. See, you go there. He doesn't know when we shoot. No, we he doesn't. know when we shoot. That's why it won't happen. Okay. See you next week. <laughs> Ain't no stopping us now.